culture and even the subway uh, they believe that only official preachers should be allowed to preach in the pulpit. The Baptists accommodated the possibility of lay preachers, meaning preachers who do not have yet the office, but are recognized to have the gift. And sometimes they are given by delegation of the official authority to preach the word. Uh, they, that they do not become then preachers officially, believing that the gift is from the Holy Spirit, then it will be a waste not to use what the Holy Spirit has given, but they preach under the authority of those in office. They do not preach with their own official authority uh, where they have none. So the lay preacher is the one who has the gift of preaching recognized and is allowed by delegation to preach. An official preacher is one who preaches by way of office. That's his calling. So that's the difference. Hill Cardiel, our evangelists classified as lay preachers. No, the, the reformers took a different position, took different positions on the evangelists as listed in Ephesians 4. Some believe that the evangelist is a unique office, only present during the apostles because he is an apostolic representative. Others believe, and I am one of those, that believe that the evangelist is equivalent to our missionaries today. Uh, those who preach the gospel as a matter of calling to other places, pioneering places to plant churches and then move on, uh, which is different from a resident pastor who pastors a church uh, more or less permanently. Uh, so uh, evangelists are sent by churches, therefore they have an office. Uh, we have a missionary now sent by our church in Thailand. And in that sense, he still is accountable to us as a church, but he does what he believes to be the right thing to do where his mission field is. So in that sense, he has an office. But uh, he's not just a lay preacher. Rolando, Antonio, what do you mean by supra? Supra, that should be supra. Supra lapsarian. And infra is the other term, or sometimes called sub lapsarian. So what this simply means is that the act of reprobation, election reprobation, was decreed prior to the decree of the fall. In other words, when God elected and reprobated, did he do so with man as sinner that denied by the supralapsarian? They believe that election and reprobation is sheer sovereignty. That's the Biza position. That's not Calvin's position. Calvin's position, and what I believe to be the biblical position, is that man is considered fallen, and from that identity, election and reprobation would then be decreed. But that's beyond our study of history. This is under soteriology, which we will study two semesters from now. Other questions uh, from Jor Kaza. Uh, please clarify that our lay preachers are, are, are lay preachers recognized as office. As I've said already, no, lay preachers do not have an office. What they have is the gift, the gift that is recognized by their pastor and members of the church. And so they are allowed to preach under the authority of the one with office. So he cannot preach in violation of what is officially preached in the church. Uh, he is a delegated preacher. So it's not an office. Uh, so church, there are only two offices, pastor or elders uh, or others called overseers, bishop. Uh, that's one office. And then deacon, there's no office of lay preacher. Okay, let's close in prayer.